Hi, it's Ripple from Safe Care Nursing. I recently sat down with Chris Power, the CEO of the Canadian Patient Safety Institute of Canada. Chris is a recognized leader in the industry and has won many awards for her work. Chris sheds light on some critical information about patient safety and shares her perspective on what it's going to take to improve healthcare in this country. So Chris. Hi Herbal. Great to be here. Yes, thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. I really appreciate it, as I just said, um, your passion for patient safety and also your transparency. You're calling the numbers um, around patient safety at one patient every 17 minutes mm -hmm. in this province or in this country experiences um, an adverse event. Well, one person every 17 minutes dies of a preventable adverse event. Right. Many, many more people experience it and in the hundreds of thousands over a course of a year. When we think about adverse events, it's like infections that people may get, uh, medication error, falls, all of those kinds of things that had we followed protocols and processes and the evidence that's out there, right. they wouldn't have happened to patients. And so we know we have a lot of work to do in healthcare. Nurses can make an impact in a huge way. I once had somebody say to me, the only reason people are in hot, that nurses are the backbone of healthcare, and I believe that because I started as a nurse for sure, right. although everybody else has a wonderful role to play, but the only reason people are in hospital is because they need nursing care. So if we only look at the hospital system, and we know healthcare is so much bigger than that, but if we just looked at that, right. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, nurses are there with patients and families. So if, uh, and one of the things I say over and over again is if we only could listen deeply to what our patients and families are saying to us, listen to them, engage with them, touch them, love them, care about them, listen to what they have to say to us, it will make a huge difference. And they know best, right? Patients know their, they live with their conditions. They understand what's wrong with them. We need to invite them in and engage them in the work that we're doing. There'd be no other industry in in the civilized world that would think that every 17 minutes that somebody would die and think that that was okay. We know in our hearts, right? Every person who's watching this, every nurse we touch, know in our hearts that we make mistakes and we've witnessed our colleagues making mistakes. Many times that we haven't recorded, that we haven't yes. reported, but we know that harm happens and we need to awaken to the fact that it's simply not acceptable. It is not acceptable. Our patients believe when they come to us that we are 100% fully in the moment with them, right. that we're bringing our best self to whatever's happening to, with them, that we're not exhausted on our feet. Right. They trust that we're going to take care of them. And so we need to honor that trust. We need to be in those moments with them. And nursing can have an enormous impact on changing the face of patient safety. So what can we do as an organization? Like, what do you envision to get away from this culture of blame and shame and not reporting and you're absolutely right we've all made mistakes yeah. but we don't really talk about them no, we don't. and we and and we certainly don't want to report them yeah well, but we're embarrassed we're, we're embarrassed ashamed. yes it's not what we do we look after people we don't make mistakes we don't right. harm them. Well, I think what, what I know what needs to happen is we have to create cultures of safety and it starts at the very top. It starts at the CEO in the organization right. and it starts with patients and it moves everything in between. And this is around creating that, that just culture, right? If, right. Some, if you've done something wrong intentionally, then there should be consequence. But that rarely is what happens. For most often it's a whole system error. So how do we create the culture of there's no blame, we need to learn from this. It is creating that whole culture of patient safety that we're, we're not there yet by any stretch of the imagination. I think there is an awareness on yeah. many leaders' parts, but there are so many competing priorities. But this needs to be a priority. This is no longer acceptable. Absolutely, it's not. And I think by partnering with patients and engaging with them, having them really understand what's happening with their health care, or their family members do if they're not able to, that's going to be what transforms our system. And often as health professionals, we have so much vested interest in the status quo. Right? Yes. We do. So when we talk, when I talk with healthcare professionals, they believe we need change, but it's about everybody else changing. Right. <laughs> right. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, but if right. only those people would change, that would be what the difference was. But it's all of us who need to, right? Yeah. And it's painful. It's hard. It's yeah. hard work. Yeah. It's really hard work. Well, it is but hard work. But we're up to it. Yeah. Part of it is we have to look at ourselves individually, yeah. which is not a, not easy work, I think. Just wanted to ask if you had one wish for patient care safety in Canada, what would it be? 
Um, I think it would be that every single one of us, when we were involved in any kind of unintentional harm, we'd fess up. We'd say, this is what happened. I did this. Um, and here's what, we're, here are what we're, here's what we're going to learn from it, and we're going to share it with people. I think if we just started there, that that would be amazing. And I'm going to have two wishes, because my other is that engage patients and families. Please partner with them. It will, it will fundamentally change the conversations you have. It will fundamentally change your care, all for the better. All for the better. Thank you so much, Chris. My pleasure. Thanks. Thank you.